This video right here, um, you should go on YouTube. I think, in my opinion, is my best, most successful graffiti piece, and also the video. This is when I got my newer camera. <laughs> What's up, we're back, sitting at the desk where I belong. I got the SLU merch on. This is a Super XLT, too big for me, but you know, the, the launch was great. Overwhelming support. We're about to sell out, so go check it out. But we're back with another reaction video about the artwork. We did the paintings reaction of all the paintings. Pretty much I just want to get across in this three part series I'm doing that, you know, it's really interesting to see my own process and you know that I can talk about it, not just documenting, you know, the actual quanti quantitatively, the evidence of, you know, my process and the, 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 the path I've taken within arts and my style and the different interests I have. And I just think it's cool to talk about it. Again, I'm just doing this to document for forever in the world on the internet. And I think people would be interested because if my favorite artist had you know, this rigorous documentation, you know, kind of narrating their feelings about it in the past five years. That's something I would certainly be interested in. So without further ado, we're doing the graffiti. And so developing my style, pretty much, you know, you got to take it back to the origins. And my origins of creative endeavor endeavors was graffiti. And so, wow, this is just going to be another 20 minute rant, but I'm super excited. So we're starting off here with 2014. This is, I'm in high school at boarding school and I've talked about this a lot, but this is another thing I want to get into. I had an independent study at my boarding school where I lived at school, jacket and tie. It was a private school. It was pretty waspy in that regard. I had a great time, but my senior year, I was, you know, I got this independent study um, accepted where it was me in my own class studying graffiti and what I meant by that was kind of like talking about how it's a youth pop culture phenomenon and now it's like a super global um, renowned art form and pretty much I was just allowed to spray paint on campus. So this is under a dormitory and pretty much I was just, you know, writing my name slew and this was like, I've never really done this before. I was painting in my garage a little the summer before, but these are like my first ever um, experiences gr with graffiti and obviously I'm not in some crew I'm not a graffiti head I'm not getting up illegally I'm just like practicing my name obviously going right for pieces but you can see all the hand styles behind so I was just obsessed with it and I loved using spray paint and so this independent study was just me experience that and it was crazy that my boarding school actually let me do that it's a really amazing story funny story enough during this exact independent study during spring break um, in the town that the boarding school is in, because I had a friend who lived there, I was doing graffiti and I actually got arrested. And it was really bad and I got in a lot of trouble, but the school didn't find out, the college that I applied to didn't find out, I just had to do, do community service and whatnot, but it was pretty ironic because I was doing an independent study about how graffiti was such a awesome art form and it was started by youth pop culture and it's not just vandalizing and I was just like a dumb kid who wanted to spray paint illegally just to have fun. Anyways, we could talk about that story time some other time, but um, yeah, so these are just like the pieces going through real quick. I'm, I was 18 and 19 during this um, senior year. I repeated um, in high school, so that's why I graduated 19. But yeah, there was no rhyme or reason and there wasn't even any style being developed here. This is just me using colors, using spray paint. I was looking at all the, you know, famous artists and just having an absolute blast, you know, and um, I mean, this is during this time also, and this isn't going to be in this video, I start doing graffiti characters and that's where like this obsession for making characters comes into play. Um, it's during this time, but mostly this independent study was graffiti. This is slew backwards, W-E-L-S, you'll be able to see. And this just brings back crazy memories. Um, and if it weren't for this independent study that my boarding school you know, really nicely allowed me to do spray paint on campus. Um, it was kind of unheard of. I don't think I would be where I am today. So this is really an, a super profound, important year in kind of the, the path and um, journey I've taken with art and, uh, you know, started with graffiti. And so this is a really cool piece. This is actually hanging at the school because they liked it. One of my better ones. And I, uh, this is when I started painting on plywood. So I wanted to keep it because before you could see in the background, I would buff over all of the pieces and I would do the time lapses, but uh, I would buff over. So I wanted to keep this one and this was more of like a quote unquote painting you could say besides, or rather than just like a graffiti piece. 
And this is slew backwards with these cool little bubble letters. And this is just me getting creative with letters. I didn't film the whole thing, so it just fast forwarded there. But I'm just getting weird and it was just this world. I had this little room to myself and I was smoking weed back then, doing stupid things. Like it was like such a crazy privilege that I was allowed and no one else in the school was. It was just like very absurd, but I just had my own little world. I had this little studio space with all the spray paint, just doing whatever I wanted. This is <laughs> a commission for my best friend. Um, and this is the kid who I got in trouble with and he's still my best friend, but you know, just like, there's no rhyme or reason. And you'll see slowly um, evolving the, the graffiti and what it meant to me and the different places and going out of my way. So exactly right here. So this is, I left boarding school, I've graduated. And this is in my garage, which if you follow the channel, you've seen the last video, this is like my studio garage where I really started doing murals and characters and painting on canvases. But I had this epic little wall, I think it was 14 feet wide by like six feet tall. So I was definitely doing murals and obviously graffiti here, just maintaining that. I just obviously wanted to do the wild style, you know? Um, I was, again, I was never in a crew. I'm not a graffiti head. I just liked the art form of it. And I just loved writing my name and it was so fun. And there are so many ways I just wanted to improve and I wanted to get my style of letters better. They're not, oh, they're not that good. You know, um, I never really achieved a super delicious style you could say, but I'm definitely improving. And then I started going to the local skate park with this massive wall, which is even bigger. Um, and I really started getting better. Yeah, I mean, just naturally getting better because I put more time, but I was spending more time. I was doing sketches and I was filming it. Obviously, this is all throughout YouTube. You know, we're the we're in the years now. I don't know what date this is. We'll say it at the bottom of the screen where I was doing YouTube. So I was going out of my way to document work, document these murals, these graffiti pieces to put them on YouTube. And that was really it. And I just loved it. I wanted to keep doing it. And the skate park had the ability for me to paint really big. And I did dozens and dozens of graffiti pieces that I'm not all going to show here. Also huge murals that we'll do in the next reaction video when we react to all my different murals over the years. But um, you can see, you know, that's I'm buffing another one. That's an older one. And I just absolutely loved it. And so here's incorporating some characters. There's a great graffiti piece that I didn't, didn't add from my boarding school times where I did this alien. It was one of the one pieces I never filmed. Um, but I love little aliens, as you can tell, by also maybe my current work. But um, yeah, so trying to incorporate the characters into the graffiti. And uh, I still have that shirt, you know, this is so funny. Like I'm wearing, I still wear the same stuff. It's so funny see, I don't have that hat anymore, but um, yeah, and I, I added a couple of these hand styles because I know people are interested in that. And I, I thought that, you know, this um, hand style was not that bad. I did this for every graffiti piece. You know, it's very simple, very basic, but it's slew backwards, W-E-L-S, and then one after it. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, and so maybe I'll talk about my interest. And so graffiti, um, I live kind of close to New York City, but in my town that I grew up, there wasn't graffiti, you know, it was suburban and there wasn't all of that, but I just loved watching on YouTube and seeing the, you know, it, it's just, I mean, the vandalizing aspect, I obviously was a little incrementally interesting, but I never was like, oh, I just want to, you know, get my name up and be infamous. And I just love the art form. You know, I was just like a enthusiast of the style and the characters and like the culture around it and then painting big and so many colors. And so that's, that's kind of the reason. Video right here, um, you should go on YouTube. I think, in my opinion, is my best, most successful graffiti piece and also the video. This is when I got my newer camera. I don't know the date, it will say it, but like I was going hard for YouTube and I was going hard for all these camera angles. Like, look at all this, it's beautiful. Doing the slow-mo, um, getting all the angles, but this piece, it just came together. The actual structure of the letters and then this huge chomping dude, like, I think this is undisputedly my coolest piece in my opinion, and I just nailed it. And also you could see that this is on a different wall. This is the same spot at the graffiti or at the skate park, but they they knew me at this point. They let me buff the wall and have this space on their actual building. So that was a huge deal. And I just think this is so cool. And it just combines my two loves at this point, graffiti and characters. And just look at that, wow. So cool. Um, yeah, so yeah, again, this is going ham for YouTube, but still 
love and graffiti. At this point, I am really am phasing out the graffiti. I'm doing more artwork, doing more creative videos. Obviously, you can see JT here. I made a video about this earlier, but this is a piece of graffiti that I certainly wanted to include because I thought it was righteous. Um, not only the letters and the style, but just the video with JT. JT is playing music here. We did this whole video. You should go check it out if you haven't seen it. But talking about the graffiti specifically, um, you know, at this point, I have the studio with him and we're building the studio. And so in the studio, I want to do more paintings and I'm trying to develop myself as a more fine artist. And so slowly, you know, graffiti isn't being as um, as current in my kind of repertoire of what I'm painting. But, you know, this project, I knew I wanted to do graffiti, um, kind of the theme, the motif of creating stuff. And so I did the create. Um, bubble letters. This is like an abandoned factory. I guess you could say it's illegal, but it's abandoned and this huge complex kind of near my town. So me and my buddy went out there and this is just a quick little slew piece. Nothing special, nothing too good. And I made a video about it. Obviously it's super sexy with, you know, longer shots. These are just kind of compiled time lapses to make this video reaction. But you know, all of these videos are on my YouTube channel. I can't stress that enough. These aren't just like secret videos. It's all back there. You just got to dive deep in the channel and these are delicious lines. I keep saying that, but look at that. Ooh, I love the POV. Um, yeah, just a little slew banger. This is took super quick. I remember this day it was super hot and I was wearing these white jeans from my work. I worked at a restaurant for almost two years and the, the, the uniform was white jeans and this checkered shirt, but, um, yeah, that's great. And this is a great piece. This is again, this is funny because this is interestingly enough, one of maybe four videos ever that I actually wasn't filming myself. So my buddy Tom was getting really, really sexual filming me. And I, I'm just kidding when I say that, but you know, I'm, I'm a huge camera nerd and he's amazing videographer. So I was like, all right, let's make this sweet video, get all the great angles, get all the shots of me doing this piece. And again, this is me. I don't do much graffiti. I wasn't doing much graffiti at this point, but I wanted to bring it back because it was the summer or something and um, we're at the skate park and it's just a graffiti spot. So we did this, the fat and skinny woman, women um, with a slew piece. This was a great project just because it was an awesome video. It's obviously longer with my buddy. These are just quicker clips, but um, yeah, this is certainly a cool piece look at that oh, i love that and that's huge you know that's like 25 feet i think wide um and this is in the studio this is an epic piece sadly i'm looking at it i don't have this anymore I actually painted over this but you know a, an important part of my studio was like showing showcasing my artwork and i did a bunch of murals that you know and you've seen and i've painted over but i wanted to do graffiti because even though i wasn't doing it much at this point it, I, I have love for graffiti i, I always will and um so I wanted to do a super slew piece and I remember I just wanted to make this as clean and as simple as possible. And look at these lines with this spray paint. These have got to be the cleanest, thinnest lines I've ever done. And I really stepped up to the plate and that's what I wanted to do. And I like, that's pretty impressive for me. And obviously I'm going over here, but, uh, and I paint over some of these to clean them up, but this was super sick. And I think it was such a sexy piece. I'm so sad. I really couldn't keep this. Um, I painted over it, but. This was a great memory and like again i just want to give a hurrah to the graffiti because at this point i wasn't doing a lot i wasn't really doing it on canvases and i wasn't going to the skate park as much to paint i was painting on canvases in the studio that i had built um and doing characters and doing other things but this is a reminder of my roots and just you know where i've came from and i think the style is sick just the simple white super cool um super awesome sadly it's gone i could still see it kind of through the walls but um, this was definitely a cool piece and again, an awesome video. If you want me to walk you through it, it's like a big vlog video. So you could go check that out. Mm. Cool E, the L is just boss. And this is a, oh, this is so sad also. This is like another, I guess, quote unquote, illegal, illegal piece. This is an abandoned huge wall in the middle of the woods, kind of near where I live. And now current day, they knocked it down. And I went one day in the woods and then I saw a bunch of like construction. I was like, oh, bummer. But this was just a super quick piece, I think. Um, and it was a fun video, it was big and I liked that S a lot. And just a fun little creative video, just a vlog I made when I was doing YouTube. Again, YouTube was very, 
in my thinking and I was just trying to crank out videos and I thought people love graffiti. And this is a super awesome video. This is really fast forwarded this part, but basically the idea of this video was to make the greatest buff paint. So I kind of take you through that little mixture, alchemy, and then boom, enter the buff. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to incorporate these cool video ideas into the artwork, you know, so it's not just me documenting my work. It's like the video is a piece of um, content in itself and it's a creative endeavor in the video itself, not just the actual painting. So this idea was, um, making the greatest buff paint and actually the person who made the music the music in this video was with my buddy and there's a video about my buddy making the music so every kind of aspect of this endeavor is kind of super awesome and creative and this graffiti piece didn't turn out that well i remember sadly because i put so much work into the actual video and my buddy but and then the graffiti was kind of eh. the s is cool and this like little background with tape is i think cool but the letters and the style and the colors are kind of not really um, on par for what I was trying to go for, but that's fine. Whoa, almost just fell. And then, um, yeah, this, uh, this shot is so sexy. Look at this circle. Wow, that's all synced up to the music in that video also. I just had to add that in, getting, getting weird and crazy. And um, yeah, it didn't look that good, sadly. But uh, we're back. This is April. 2018 so this is like the last huge graffiti piece I did which is sad and I haven't done it in so long if people comment and want me to do more graffiti on the channel I will I haven't done it in so long maybe I'll do a cool canvas Smo on YouTube Smo Nova is like the best graffiti writer on YouTube I think maybe in Europe I mean he is just out of this world he's an out of this world artist but he's also so awesome at graffiti and he does cool stuff this Graffiti piece is one of my favorites, besides the one with the dude chomping on its name. I think this came out the cleanest, and I just love simple, legible letters, you know. I never tried really crazy wild style. I just wanted, like, a unique, you know, letters. I mean, I guess these are pretty standard graffiti letters, but I wanted it a little wacky, a little stylized, but I just liked it being legible and having good little highlights, clean lines, and then you'll see at the end, um, I throw these, like, pink splashes. And I just think the color combo, it's just awesome and sexy. And I, I just love this piece. And it's nostalgic because it's pretty much the last one I've really done in a while. And, um, and yeah, and then there's the little hand style. And so this is nostalgic. And also, actually, this, uh, this skate shop, it's closed now. They knocked it down and it's some other building. So I can't even paint here anymore, which is another reason why. I stopped doing it and that's it and that's all she wrote and I'm fired up I can't believe that was what 17 18 minutes of talking I was just rambling so hard but I love graffiti and you know intertwined during those years of doing graffiti and doing the graffiti characters I was really experimenting outside the bounds of graffiti from just the letters to graffiti characters and then taking those graffiti characters putting them on canvases and then those canvases you know, training traditionally in oil painting. And so it's all linked. All the fingers are linked and it leads back to that year at my boarding school, independent study, studying graffiti and kind of diving into that world and just getting obsessed with spray paint. I love it. I will always love it. I still use spray paint all the time today, but yeah, graffiti, not as much. Hopefully you enjoyed. I think it's important for myself to get these, you know, views and show and narrate kind of my feelings on this process of mine because I have it so rigorously documented. I, I keep saying that I don't want to like be like, oh, I'm so awesome because I've documented it. It's just because I've documented it, I feel as though I should talk about it for myself and people who are interested. So that's it. We got one more video talking about all the murals. I did so many murals at that skate park. I did murals in the studio. I did murals other places. So I'm very excited about that. Um, that will be the third video in this reaction series, and then it will be forever documented. And don't forget to check if you want more in-depth of those projects. It's all on the YouTube channel. You got to dive deep. Check out the merch. It's going to sell out. You know, that's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Right behind this camera, by the way, if you've stuck to the end, um, we got some absolutely crazy projects. Huge canvas projects working. New characters. It's getting weird.